Hey guys, Jay here of Jay Balcoy Center. Uh, today I'm going to update you the, my Foreman DIY filtration system. Uh, I have finished already uh, installing them now. And, but I haven't put the separate division here. Uh, I will just add the uh, plastic screen to divide the filter medium. Uh, first stage is the mechanical which will filter the big, uh, big sludge. Here I am just using uh, old mosquito net for the mechanical filtration. And then for the bio, there are bio balls inside here. Here, it's bio balls, and also lava rock inside for biological filtration system here. Bio balls have plenty of surface area for beneficial bacteria to um, live also I have T1 T1 or coldness is also called moving filter and T1 also is best uh, best for eliminating nitrites um, eliminating ammonia since it has also a good surface uh, area and then the bacteria that live in um, moving filter media K1 filter are strong so uh, I forgot already each one of the uh, key one filter media can uh, cover a square meter so also I added here duckweed duckweeds are excellent filter media natural filter media it can absorb heavy metals and other toxins in the water so this is my performance diy filter filtration system koi pan filtration system guys leave in the comment section if you have any question and hit the bell notification button if you want update of my new videos and please don't forget to subscribe and check out also my blog about koi pan uh, filter i'll be adding the link in the description below and also this one I am using uh, an airlift pump uh, here's the uh, this is the um, pump the compressor small compressor that power the airlift this is 35 watt as bro peter laudi uh, said that you need to put the pump higher so that it can improve the the efficiency of the early pump so uh, next time i will also 
um, add a compress compressed air chamber as what Peter Laudy Peter Laudy suggested to improve the efficiency of the air lift pump so this is this is for now guys thanks for watching